I'm Alan Betts. I'm the, uh, the founder of HT2. Um, we're an R&D company for learning in, in the workplace. Um, but I am a bit of an imposter because whilst I founded it, the, uh, the, the brains behind the operation is, uh, is my son, Ben. Uh, and he should be here today, but we had a new arrival, which is, which is Harry, which is the new member of, uh, of our family, and, uh, uh, and as such, he sent Grandpa along to, uh, to do this presentation. Our technology is all about helping people cope with transitions. Transitions is a really important part of the workplace experience. When you're moving from one job to another, from one experience to another, and what we do is help people through that. And this happens millions and millions of times a year. These are some of the customers that, that trust us to help them with that, some of the biggest customers in the world. And we help them uh, in a number of key ways. Uh, one of the big areas is when people are joining for the first time, so uh, onboarding courses. So KPMG run a big onboarding course for 1,500 auditors. Um, or when people become leaders, AstraZeneca are doing a wonderful course on becoming, uh, becoming be better leaders. And it's our software and approaches that help make a, a real difference. And there are two key words that we use, which is about being social and measurable. We have two products, soon to be a third. One is Curator. Curator is a social learning platform. And the other is Learning Locker. Learning Locker is a learning record store. It's the most widely installed learning record store in the world. It's all about the XAPI standard, sometimes known as Tin Can. And using those two uh, products, we've, got, we've had 15 awards in the last few years uh, internationally. Uh, we've raised a, uh, a fund of Series A uh, funding, and, uh, and we're moving forward quite, quite dramatically with our uh, ARR and MRR. But we don't have all the answers, because what we are at the heart of it is an R&D company. What we're looking is better ways to do things. This is our model of how we're going to go about doing that. We're looking to gather data, we're looking to create models and then continue to refine our software. I will tell you a little bit about gathering data. So this is our curator, our social learning platform. It's about gamification. It's points and levels and badges and leaderboards. It's entirely configurable. You uh, break a subject down into levels and you move through it. Uh, and as you go into it, you'll see items of micro content. And if I watch that for long enough, I'll earn experience points. And if I join in the, common, uh, the, the comments as well, I'll earn more experience points. And we nudge people, encourage people to do more. And boy, they do. The amount of comments that are coming are astronomical in terms of the amount of uh, data that we're receiving. And talking of data, with regard to, this is a, just a snapshot of one of our clients uh, using Learning Locker. Now, we were quite excited uh, when, when we were getting near to uh, a million items coming in. And we thought, I, well, I was thinking, it's cool if we hit a million. We're moving towards a billion now. Uh, and one of our biggest clients just said they're going to be putting in seven billion statements in. It's one client putting seven billion uh, data points in. Suddenly, learning is becoming big data. And that's exciting. So using that big data, we can start to create models. Um, this is one that we use in terms of time to competence. The idea being that if you could start to think in terms of how long it takes somebody to join uh, the workplace, to move to a new job, to become competent. And you could start to model that and understand it, to get an understanding of how long it takes and then critically be able to do something better about it, to be able to improve the time to competency from 35 days to 30 days or whatever it is, a real bottom line difference. This is some uh, work we did with the Intercontinental Hotel Group. They ran a company-wide MOOC. And one of the things we did was we did some semantic analysis on the words that they were using. And we were able to see how people's words are changing. 
So a lot of the comments to begin with are on the lines of, I understand this point. And then they move from, I understand this, to I understand this, and I'm going to do something about it. And then to, I've done something about it, and these are the consequences. When you're able to do that kind of semantic analysis and to be able to truly understand that people are making a difference in the workplace, you're streets ahead. We're also able to look at the content itself. And this is analysis, the deeper the orange, the more, um, the more sort of aerial intention is being shown by people. So some objects really hit the mark. They really get people engaged and move people forward, and others not so. Once you know that from a learning development point of view, you can start to do something about it. So we gather the data, we create the models, and we refine the software. This is our latest Red Panda that's just joined us. It is a personal learning hub. It's about the idea of being a, on a continual professional education. It enables people to, uh, to sort of set themselves goals and learning journeys, be, pro be provided with really key sort of uh, learning objects, micro-learning objects that are curated for them, that they can then learn, they can uh, share with other people, all in an entirely sort of social environment. And that's us, uh, a new generation workplace to go with the new generation of the, uh, of the Betts family, uh, Red Panda, Curator, and, uh, and Learning Locker. And I'd love to speak to anybody about that as we go forward. Thank you so much.